today I'm going to be tearing down this GV336 voice fax modem, which is a 33.6k board fax modem. Activation kit. I got it for $3.99 from Value Village. Bit of a score. It's a nice little box to, to build projects in. It's got some nice connectors, some headphone connectors, some uh, RJ. 12, I believe, or RJ11 connectors and uh, switch and a good old wall wall type power plug and socket. Okay, as you, you've seen from my intro, my new intro, I actually uh, scored the warranty label on this side. Thought it would be a nice, uh, nice touch. So now I'm going to do the other one because there's two on each side. So let's. Should be looking at what I'm doing rather than what the camera's doing. Okay. Hey. Oh wait. Maybe I want to take this back and get my money back. You don't know. Anyway. Okay. So let's see how do we open this beast. Okay. So I believe. Oh yeah. Watching the sides like this. Oop. Will that provide us with access? Let's see. Oh, 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 what's going Oh, oh. Ooh, LEDs. Oh. I thought there would be LEDs pointing out the front, but they're not. But look at this, there's no light pipes. It's actually. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's actually separated slots inside with white painted on the inside. So it bounces the light. Crude, but it works. Can't fault with that. Okay. Okay, let's see what's on there. We have a, uh, a generous mix of uh, surface mount and through holes. Lots and lots of electrolytic caps on there. I'm gonna have fun getting those off. Oh, a shield! Hey! There's me. Hello. Yes, I've had a haircut. And, um, Okay. Nice UV erasable EPROM. Let's see the number on that. I believe that's a 1 megabit, if I'm not mistaken. There's a RAM chip. Uh, that's 256 kilobit RAM. Static, I believe. Could be wrong. Um, here we have a an EE prom. That's uh, 24. 24. That's an I squared C, and that's 02. I believe that's a one kilobit. Could be wrong. And we have a couple of op amps there. It's a 4558, the standard jelly bean, as Dave Jones would say. I believe that's a dual. Could be wrong. And okay, let's have a look. We have a nice orange relay. Oops, let's turn this over. It's either a 5 or 12 volts. Let's, uh, let's see, actually, this is DC 5 volts. Let's see if we can get on the camera. There we go. And are those all the optos there? No, I believe the one on the left, the XCA, uh, I believe that's an electronic switch. And uh, but those two are definitely uh, definitely opto isolators. A nice little speaker buzzer thing. Uh, that chip, let's see, that's. Must be an RS232 line level converter. RS232 to TTL, I believe, although I'll check the data sheet later. Got some nice chokes up there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Okay, we have this kind of regulator. What was it? LM2575T. That is a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's a 1 amp step down. 5 volt step down from National Semiconductor. 
I will uh, try and link data sheets to them. Uh, this here is a Rockwell 336K modem chip. I've seen a lot of those when I used to work in the computer shop. Okay, now these connectors here, yeah, standard 9 pin connector. I like those. Don't know why. Now, this definitely useful for uh, plug in projects for the power. You always have uh, a power supply handy for these things. Like, like for when you, you know, dealing. Cell modem will this one fit? Actually, no, this is actually a weird size one. So let's forget about that one. <clears throat> but I put them on all my projects. Basically, uh, say like this VGA controller board I designed. It's just a standard feature for me. Okay, we've got some lovely 3.5mm audio jacks here. And, uh, Come on, focus. Get some focus. Force it to focus on that. Will it do it? No, no, no. I don't want to see laundry detergent. Oh, okay. As you can see, it's uh, it's like stereo. It's pretty good. And the uh, I believe the RJ12 or the RJ11. I never remember which one's which, but these have four conductor contacts in the plugs, so... Which is fine, because I like to use uh, that connector on some of my uh, CAN bus stuff I'm working on. Now here we have a good old rocker switch, and oh, look, all, all three legs are available, so that's, that's excellent. Use soldered in there and some diodes. Now, yeah, that I believe looks like some kind of TTL chip. Yeah, I'm on really good. Anyway, I can't really seem to get it too well on the camera but it's a, it says LS244 which is a 74 LS244 which is a buffer chip a TTL buffer chip and from what I can see on here they're going to each light so that's actually uh, driving the LEDs which makes sense and that chip is a 74HC14 is it? Ah, uh, it's either NAN, no, not NAN, it's, it's an OR or a NOR chip. An uh, optical NOR, but uh, I'd have to check on the data sheet for that one. But either way, it's uh, it's doing some address decoding for all these anyway, by the looks of it. Yeah, <clears throat> fortunately, I wouldn't know what was supposed to be in there. But, uh,. Oh no, we do have a nice fair bit of uh, components to play with here. And, uh, yeah, well. That's enough of the, the, the short haired guy talking. I suppose it's. Uh, where is it going? Oh. Yeah, the autofocus on there is not very good. Yeah, anyway. Enough chit chatting, uh, time to get on with the teardown, I think.